हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू स्टोरी टाइम टुडे द स्टोरी इज अबाउट द मैजिक ट्री हाउस मर्लिन मिशंस कार्निवल एट कैंडल लाइट मैजिक ट्री हाउस मर्लिन मिशंस कार्निवल एट कैंडल लाइट बाय मेरी पो पॉसबोर्न चैप्टर नाइन दी पेंटिंग The gondolier silently helped Jack and Annie into the boat. Then he untied the gondola and pushed off from the landing. As the boat glided through the shallow waters, Jack looked back at Venice. Bathed in early sunlight, the grand lady of the lagoon did seem timeless. The gondola moved around the bend and up the narrow canal near the walled garden. The gondolier tied the boat to a striped pole. He then offered his gloved hand to Annie to help her out of the boat. Annie climbed out and the gondolier offered his hand to Jack. As the gondolier helped Jack on to the landing the boat rocked in the water Jack tripped pulling the glove off the gondolier's hand Oh sorry said Jack as he handed the glove back he gasped On the gondolier's finger was a pale blue glass ring Before Jack could say anything the gondolier pulled his glove back on and pushed the boat away from the landing hey hey jack sputtered teddy kathleen wait come back neither of the masked people looked back at jack and annie teddy and kathleen where said annie his glove it came off there was a blue glass ring on his finger said jack jack and annie watched the gondola disappear into a blaze of sunlight shining on the water had it just glided around the bend or had it vanished altogether are you sure it was them said annie well i guess anybody could wear a glass ring said jack but still maybe morgan and merlin told them to watch over us said annie yeah to make sure we would be safe said jack and be patient and follow instructions said annie right said jack well venice was not destroyed by a flood so i guess we passed our first test I think we did said Annie with Lorenzo's canvas tucked under his arm Jack led the way into the walled garden and he followed him to the rope ladder when they climbed into the tree house Jack pulled Merlin's letter from his backpack he unfolded it and pointed to the words frog creek I wish we could go there he said Goodbye grand lady of the lagoon said Annie The wind started to blow the tree house started to spin it spun faster and faster then everything was still absolutely still A nippy wind rustled the frog creek trees Jack and Annie were wearing their jeans and jackets again. It was dawn. Annie sighed. I wish we would had a little more time to visit Venice, she said. I'm glad Lorenzo gave us his painting to finish, said Jack. That will be like living our trip all over again. cool said ani we would better leave morgan's research book here said jack 
he pulled the book out of his backpack and put it on the floor and this he took out teddy and kathleen's book of magic rhymes wait said annie don't you think we should take the book of rhymes with us for safekeeping jack nodded we can't use them in frog creek he said we will just keep it safe till we go on our next mission that's what i was thinking said annie come on hurry before mom and dad wake up jack put the book of rhymes back into his pack <coughs> carrying lorenzo's canvas and he climbed down the ladder jack followed as they walked through the chilly dawn woods and he held up lorenzo's canvas the shimmering light and waters of venice looked just like they had in real life so what should we put in our painting she asked gondolas of course said jack with people in costumes wearing black capes and bird masks said annie and fancy dresses and wigs and we could paint the clock tower in the background said jack with the two men striking the ball and the watch tower too said annie with the gold angel on top and the ruler's palace said jack and the old man and rosa walking along the canal said annie and of course lorenzo and the lion flying across the sky said jack and neptune spear rising out of the water with neptune himself peeking out said annie we will show just the top of his head and his mysterious eyes that's a lot of stuff for one painting said jack we didn't even put ourselves in it said annie we will paint ourselves on the back of the lion said jack wearing our own clown suits and red slippers yeah with huge smiles on our faces said annie like we are thinking wow 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 jack laughed a chilly dawn breeze swept through the bare trees the bells of a frog creek church began to chime jack and annie took off running for home the end thanks for watching the video bye